самого открытия европейской торговой сессии активность на рынке невероятно мала, так как никто из участников рынка не намерен рисковать в условиях столь э, сильной неопределенности. А все дело в новом пакете санкций от Европейского Союза по отношению к Российской Федерации. Yesterday, Brussels made a decision to ban supplies of Russian coal. However, it's still unclear whether it uh, a full or partial embargo. In any case, Europe, which is already suffering from high energy prices and surging inflation, is likely to face uh, the side effects of its actions. Most European explain uh, such measures by the fact that the European Union does need additional supplies of energy resources since the heating period is over. Meanwhile, by the autumn, Europe is planning to find new suppliers. However, the European authorities have not taken into account some scenarios. In a case of a hot summer, people will have to use air conditioners, thus boosting pressure on the local energy systems. Last time, when daytime temperatures hit record highs, the European energy system was on the edge of collapse. In addition, the European Union may fail to find new importers that will be able to meet the energy requirement. However, the European mass media is not even raising this issue. Anyway, the recent decision on coal suppliers will have a negative effect on the euro that will surely drag the pound sterling. The only question is how deep the currencies may drop. Although at the beginning of the trade the market was stagnant, the euro and the pound sterling were showing signs of an insignificant decline, and this picture is accurately reflecting investors' sentiment. On the trading chart, we see that the euro dollar pair resumed to falling after a short listing pause near 1.09. As a result, in just one week, the euro has lost more than 300 pips. Under the current conditions, traders expect a further drop in the euro, and the reading of 1.08 is acting as the key support level. If the price settles below 1.1770 on the daily chart, it's likely to fall deeper. Until then, the pair may rebound from the support level of 1.08. Meanwhile, the pound-dollar pair is sliding slower than the euro-dollar pair. This fact could be proved by a series of stagnation. Against the, the backdrop, stagnation contributes to the accumulation process that may cause surges in the speculative activity. The quote is confidently moving towards the key support level of 1.30. If the price fails to rebound from the psychological level, the medium downtrend is likely to continue after the price settles below 1.2950 on the daily chart. И вы смотрели новость в информационном канале группы компании Instaforex. Мы продолжаем следить за развитием ситуации на финансовых рынках. Подписывайтесь на наш канал и будьте в курсе новостей вместе с нами. Увидимся через некоторое время и расскажу вам о том, как начались торги на североамериканском континенте. До встречи!